tell us how has it been going at this year's festival. Well, the turnout at Vanessa is amazing as it is. Thomas, hello. Nice to be there with you. What is the purpose of this meeting and who will be in attendance? Talking about how African countries can stop relying to a large extent on... We are definitely seeing a lot of deeply political films, either directly treating a political issue or with a political subtext. Don't miss the last special report between Capital Television and Dushwell Television at 9.30 p.m. Rais Magufuli ni rais ya Tanzania na watu wamemchagua na mambo ni mazuri. Tanzania ni nchi nzuri sana. Na watu ni wazuri sana hapa. I am from Toronto, Canada and I'm back in Tanzania for the third time. Uh, for good reason. I love love the people. The people are so friendly, gracious and very welcoming and uh, the land is gorgeous the pe the animals the variety of animals is incredible our, my personal experience i can only talk about my personal experience um we have felt very Well, happy Father's Week to all the fathers and all the single mothers who don't receive financial or social support from their baby daddies. Karibuni sana kwenye capture at minute wa Sebastian Koloa. Kama kawaida ni mezungu kwa na warembo. Hapasa, sijajua wao ni Happy Father's Day na wawusu wa wawo wali itoa tu kwenye WhatsApp. Na vitu kama hivyo. Tunai Hadija Zimbo embe unakutanai sana kwenye culinary delights. Culinary. Culinary. Najua nabidi wiseme ukumekula kidogo mayai. Kama umekula ugali, culinary naeza ikatoka kubaya. Lakini pia unakutanae kwenye vipindi mbalimbali vya mambo ya decor. Pia unakutanae Nancy Masengo. Nancy leo kwa sabo mesikia tunaongerea kupandishwa bei kwa mawigi ya memua. Aji nao moja. Hata tuweza vizu difference between mawigi na mawivu. Men, pay attention. Ujue lipi ni gari zaidi, lipi taxi yake meongezeka. Karibu ni sana. Leo tunamambu mingi sana tulaya sungumzia. Uh, tutaanza kwanza na mambu ambayo metokea hapa kwenye ndani ya nchi. Lakini pia nje uh, kwenye mambu mbali mbali. Lakini uh, kwenye mada yetu ya siku ya leo, we will speak about the idea of beauty. Na nafikiri hapa wanaume. Pamoja na wanawake, tutakubaliana sana juu ya kitu gani. E, tunaposema mwanamke mzuri ama kitu kizuri tunamaanisha wa aina gani na kwa vigezo vipi uwe na mimi kwa sababu tutakuruhusu pia wewe upige simu na wewe tuambie unafikiria vipi lakini baadaye kabisa tutacheka kwa ajili ya memes na vitu vingine karibuni sana okay first thing first before we go to weavings you the plastic bags issue. okay recently um uh, we decided to go green <laughs> in Tanzania yeah. And this was a very good idea. Zanzibar have, have already done this. Sisi bado tukormechewa kidogo, lakini plastic bags have been banned. The only problem is, it looks like people do not really understand where the ban is and where it's not. Hadija, before we listen to the people. Hadija, uneza kutuelezea kwa kifupi. Serikali imezuia kitu gani? 
na kitu gani kinaruhusiwa with regard to plastic bags okay now tunachokitambua ni kwamba kwenye plastic bags issue ya plastic bags kilichokuwa banned ni kibebeo kile kifaa ambacho tunatumia kubebea yani mfuko ambao unatumia kubebea vitu ukienda labda supermarket au ukienda sokoni au ukienda gengeni anywhere ule ule mfuko ambao tunaita sasa hivi ni kibebeo that's the one ambayo imekuwa banned lakini vile vitu ambavyo ni packaged ambao wanasema packaging mm-hmm. ambavyo unaweza kukuta kuna packaging za sukari uh, mchele um, ubuyu Uh, askirimu unajua karanga, karanga zile packaging zile zimekuwa zimepata ruhusa zinaruhusiwa kwa sababu ile ni packaging sio kibebeo kabla hujaendelea say no more nasi mm-hmm. what do you understand ni kipi kipi kimekatazwa kipi kimeruhusiwa um, like what are they saying it's exactly the same kwamba uh, kilicho the type of carriers ambazo zimekataliwa ni zile vibebeo wanaita. Kwa hiyo ukienda sokoni au gengeni au wherever kununua groceries kile unachopewa kubebea ndio kimekatazwa. At the moment packaging kama alivyosema Hadija packaging uh, inaruhusiwa bado. Kwa hiyo mimi nadhani kinachoendelea hapa ni kwamba wanataka kufanya in phases. In other countries unakuta kwamba zile packaging zinatakiwa ziwe na certain percentage recyclable material ile ambayo imetengenezwa ile packaging oh. kwenye ili at least hata ikisha tunika iweze kuwa degradable kwa hiyo um, kwa watu wengi nadhani ni tofauti hapa degradable manake inaweza ku, ku <laughs> kuwa recyclable yeah, i don't say what you say i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> kuwa recyclable so it can be recyclable inaweza yes. inaweza ikarudi au ika ikarudi ika ika yes yeah. na kwa standard ya Tanzania nadhani I don't want to assume too much lakini nadhani kwamba serikali imeona ifanye this in phases kwa sababu hata zile bin liners za uh, bin liner liner zaweza kukiwa na bin ile ya kuwekea taka mm. ile nayo inatakiwe a certain, a certain percentage recyclable lakini kwa Tanzania hiyo hatuwezi kwa sasa hivi because it's very expensive to to to, to manufacture products such as this kwa hiyo at the moment nadhani wanaenda in phases kwamba hamruhusiwi kubeba vi carriers vinini mm. vibebeo <laughs> yeah vibebeo mambo sasa yes we are plastic sasa uh, before we speak our minds and our ideas tumeelewa nini kuhusu uh, ku, ku, uh, kuhusu mifuko ya plastiki ipi imekatazwa mm. uh, japo wanachokizungumza hapa kidogo kinatofautiana na ambacho kimesambaa kwenye mitandao <laughs> yeah. uh, mamlaka ilivyosema waziri alisema kitu kama wanachosema wao lakini mamlaka mm kama vile imesema kwamba uh, hata vifungashio fulani fulani vimekatazwa lakini hayo tutayapata baadaye ila kwanza tena tukawasikilize wadau wenyewe ambao wako masokoni madukani wao wanasemaje wao uelewa wao juu ya mifuko ya plastiki ambayo imekatazwa ni ipi twende tuwasikilize alafu tarejea kwa wale wateja baada ya kuwaikia vifungashio vile atakuwa awe na mfuko wa kubebea vitu sawa baada ya kuwa na mfuko yeye anachukua kile kifungashio akishaekewa kitu anafanya ndio kibebeo chake kwa sisi bado tunakuwa uza mifuko hatuna makosa. Wenye makosa tunatakiwa kuwapa elimu wateja wale wanaonunua vile vitu kutoka kwetu. Kwamba mnapoekewa vitu natakuwa uwe na mfuko wa kubebea ili upate kuweka kifungashio chako ndani ya mfuko. You see so that's the difference. Kuna watu wamelewa, kuna watu hawajaelewa. Um, kwa kifupi tu Hadija, what do you think should be done now? Sasa ili ili tujue kinachotakiwa kifanyike ni kipi contradiction ni kwamba nemko anasema hivi um, wizara husika inasema hivi mm-hmm. na wafanyabiashara wanajua hivi tuliambiwa kwamba hiti ni kipindi cha ku, cha kupeana information watu mm-hmm. kuweza kujifunza yeah. na kujua hasa nini ambacho kinahitajika na nini ambacho hakihitajiki mm-hmm. lakini kikubwa ni kwamba people are trying to save especially um, wa uzaji wanajaribu wana kusave ukiangalia kuna watu ambao wameshanunua hizi stock ni nyingi sana kwa hiyo mtu baada ya kutumia ile ile packaging ambayo ingetumika kwa ajili ya kuwekea vifaa vingine amesambaza kwenye um, maduka au kwenye butchers au kwenye masoko wanatumia kuweka mfano wanaweka nyama kwenye hivyo vimifuko anakuambia hicho ni ki, ni, ni kifunga shio mm. lakini mikitoka nacho mimi pale nimekishika anakuambia kabisa ukitoka nacho hapo umekishika hivyo kikamatwa juu yako 
Kwa hiyo ana expect wewe u cooperate. Yeah. Na hiyo act ambayo wameamua wao kufanya kwamba lazima wewe uende na kikapu au uende na mfuko ambao ni wa kitambaa ili ufiche ile dhambi iliyotendeka. Kwa hiyo bado information haijakuwa kubwa kiasi hicho cha watu kuelewa especially ukiweza kutumia terminology hizo kibebeo, kifungashio. Mm-hmm. Tayari ushamchanganya. Sawa. So, uh, Nas uh, well uh, my sentiments are exactly what I did just said kwamba this should be a love, learning curve uh hatuwezi tu tuka expect kwa, kwa sababu assimilation of knowledge ni kitu kigumu sana ile interpretation ya vitu ambavyo maagizo ambayo yamepewa kwa hiyo watumie huu muda kama learning curve kwamba tunaelezana tunaelimishana na nini na nini ili tuweze kwenda pamoja kwa sababu tayari well, mikoani mm-hmm. inavyosemekana yeah watu wameshaanza kupigwa fine yeah. watu wameshaanza kukamatwa yeah. ni kitu ambacho kiko contrary to what actually the minister said sasa so, so, uh, this is a very uh, huge issue but it's a learning opportunity hakuna kitu kipya kinachokuja kikaanza tu moja kwa moja kila sehemu kinaanza kwa kupitia changamoto baadhi tena mimi kwa ukiniuliza naona kama hii kitu kinaenda vizuri sana kwa hiyo tujifunze tu kutokana na hata wenzetu wamefanyaje na wenzetu si lazima nje hata Zanzibar tu ukienda hapo mifuko mifuko ya plastiki hamna tujifunze pia kwa wenzetu wa kutoka nchi zingine ambapo wengine wanawake wangependa zaidi waolewe wawili au watatu kwenye ndoa moja kwenye familia moja ni, ni kitu ambacho wanawake wa kwetu pia wanaweza wakajifunza mm. na pingine na, na, na sisi tukaona labda manufaa yake ama vinginevyo <laughs> katika nchi moja huko mdada ndio alikuwa anarafiki yake mpendwa mm. tuseme Nancy na Hadija hapa wameshibana kweli kweli mm. lakini Hadija akaona yeye anaolewa rafiki yake hajaolewa rafiki yake kila akitupiwa ua unajua ile wanatupa ua <laughs> lina mkosa <laughs> hata likimpata <laughs> ana souvenir za nyumbani <laughs> <laughs> lakini hapati mtu wa kumua kwa kaamua mimi nitakapoolewa yes. sababu mashosti wengine wote wameolewa mm. basi na mimi nitaolewa na rafiki yangu mm. sababu before sababu this is a islamic country kwa inaruhusiwa yes. before twende huko what's your take on this nancy hadija najua atakuwa na jibu zuri uh, zaidi hii <laughs> kwangu nadhani huyu dada ambaye alikuwa na mume akamkaribisha rafiki yake mm. um, Uh, I can invite sort of into the marriage etc i think and uh, such a great respect and and um nataka kusema kwamba anaamini sana kwamba huyu rafiki yangu tumeshibana na hata ni hata ni uh, hata nigeuka kwa sababu would you do that i would never do that <laughs> why But why not sababu, oh, don't you have respect for your friends um for me i don't believe in sharing my man Okay. Yes. No, this is a tough one. Deki nasema na bitu jifunze taratibu. Unajua anything takes time, takes time. Kwa sababu seba, uki when you get uh mapenzi na vitu kama hivyo into the conversation, I think everything gets complicated. Adija, what do you think? Do you think this is the right thing to do? Okay, huyu ni mjanja. Mimi nasema kwamba huyu dada ni mjanja sana. Kwa sababu ameangalia wao huko kwenye kwenye Muslim community. Yes kwa hiyo mumewe ana uwezo wa kumleta mtu mwingine yoyote ambaye anaweza ah. kafuli in love naye lakini mwanamke na katika kuzungumza zungumza shasikia mumewe akimwambia kwamba exactly. i would love this i would love that akaona mm-hmm. oh. Ehe. So I'm glad that, that be my friend. Ehe. sasa an, anakuwa nafikiria kwamba mwanamke ana nafasi ya kum, kum, kumnusuru Um, spouse wake kwamba sure. instead of wewe kwenda kufanya mambo machafu mm. mimi na kunusuru kwa kukutafutia au kwa kukuruhusu mm-hmm. sasa sisi wanawake tuna issues nyingi sana mm-hmm. yani una, ukifikiria kwamba ukiletea mtu ambaye humfahamu you be uncomfortable That is true. Yaani mtu unamfahamu you be comfortable like okay would you ah, be comfortable yes, knowing knowing kuna somebody, ile idea like kwamba your husband kuna, is sleeping with someone else kuna, I, kuna ile idea kwamba ambayo huwa wanakuwa nayo kwamba it's best awe na mtu ambaye namfahamu kwa sababu kwanza yes. naweza nikasema anamfahamu yeah. Nancy mm. kwa familia aliyotoka mm. unajua kuna kuna vitu vingi sana mm. once it comes lakini pia ni wanne unajua nafasi ziko nne hata wawili zimebaki lakini wakishabaki wawili wale wawili <laughs> wakishakuwa kitu kimoja umekwisha Eh. Uwezi ongeza mtu. Unajua that's what I think that's what you guys think. Kwa maana <laughs> you guys don't know. No, sisi tunaamini hivyo. Yeah. Kwamba sisi wawili tukiweza yeah. kukumudu vizuri wewe, mm. basi wewe tumemaliza haja zako. Aya hiyo ni imani yenu. Lakini mimi okay, mimi naangalia hii katika nyanja mbalimbali. Mbali. Yeah. Nyanja ya kwanza ni kama hivyo ulivyosema kwamba 
a girl would rather come back ni bora rafiki yangu waje lakini pia hivi ni vitu ambavyo watu wanalelewa navyo toka wadogo yeah. wanalelewa kuamini kwamba mwanaume lazima awe na wanawake hata wanawake wanaoamini kwamba mwanamume ni wangu peke yangu kama kina Nancy mm. wamelelewa hivyo pia wamewaona wazazi wao na nini na nini unajua eh mm. so it's it's understandable yeah. kama mimi I, i believe in one wife my mm. my has, my my, bro, uh, my father never had nani never had uh, a few wives no mm wala hakuna ndugu yangu yote nishae kuona na few wife mm. tunaambiwaga huko mababu wa zamani walikuwa kimila mm. ambao hata tuwajui mm. so it is something that wewe kumlaumu hiyo mtu kwa sababu inabidi kwanza uwe kwenye shoes zake wewe ume, ume, umelelewa naye mm. umeona amekuaje mm. kwa kwao wao hiyo inawezekana ni jambo bora zaidi mm. yeah mm. lakini pia mm. at the end of the lakini day kuna hii expression better the devil you know than the devil you, you don't, don't know, know. Exactly. in love i think in love that i don't I they just I mean, I, at least <laughs> they for, just for us we, yeah. we we believe in in things that makes us comfortable yeah. Yeah. and Maybe fortunately there's a difference between yeah. men and women yeah. me, me, I'm, just, i'm trying to put that in my perspective uh-huh. like like i have a wife yes. and then i'm thinking about my wife with a friend of mine like yeah, i would rather she be with <laughs> like <I don't> <laughs> kwa hiyo mimi nadhani anaweza kawa na by choosing who should be next in marriage mm. anapata ile upper hand mm-hmm. you know? maybe okay yeah. <laughs> let's move on from this one naamini hapo kuna watu wameshika remote wanatamani kupiga si always kupiga simu kwenye hili swala tutaongelea baadaye anyway uh, sticking with women uh, Castel Semenya nafikiri watu wengi mnamfahamu huyu ni mwanariadha wa Afrika ya Kusini sasa yeye uh, ana ana homoni za testosterone. Homoni za testosterone ni homoni ambazo zinatofautisha wanaume na wanawake. Mm. Zinapozidi kuwa nyingi ndio zina mwanaume na kwa mwanaume ndio mm. anakuwa na nguvu na yeah. vitu kama hivyo. Yeza kwake ni nyingi kidogo. Mm. Kwa hiyo kumewekwa kiwango IWF shirikisho la riadha la dunia limeweka kiwango maalum cha homoni za testosterone ambazo mwanamke anatakiwa awe nazo ili ashiriki mashindano ya kimataifa. Yeye, Semenya na wenzake wamezidi hicho kiwango. Yeah. Kwa kama wanahitaji kushiriki kwenye mashindano ya kimataifa, wanatakiwa wapunguzwe hizo homoni. Mm-hmm. Sasa yeye alikataa hilo swala na akakata aka rufaa kwamba akakata rufaa kwa mahakama ya, 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 ya nani ya, ya, ya michezo CAS uh, Court of Arbitration for Sports. Mm-hmm. Alivokata rufaa ile rufaa pia ikakataliwa lakini amekata tena rufaa na rufaa yake sasa hivi inasikilizwa kwa aliruhusiwa kushiriki mashindano ya kwanza. Yes. So kwa sababu leo niko na wanawake hapa. Mm. Nafikiri nyinyi mnipe idea yenu. Nyinyi mnafikiri vipi kuhusu swala hili? Mimi naweza kuzungumzia tuki michezo na kwa sababu namkubali ni mwana michezo mkubwa na tusaidia yeah. Afrika sana. Yeah. Lakini do you think this is fair? For me I, I would say it it's okay for her ataweza it, kuona kwamba it's unfair kwa sababu ameshafika level fulani. Sure. Mm. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Lakini it is a great thing kuletwa mm. kwa sababu hi hivi vipimo vinafanya vinaleta gender identity sure. kwa sababu sasa hivi mambo yamekuwa mengi sana mm. tuna, tuna vyakula tofauti mm. kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanatubadilisha mm. mili yetu mm. kuna tofauti kati ya Seba na, na Nancy mm. lakini suddenly Nancy anaweza ka perform vitu ambavyo wewe unaweza kuvifanya atanishinda mimi lakini yeye haku okay Okay, it's natural Nancy, thing. What, what's, your, what's your thing? What, what do you think about that? Before I say what I think. <laughs> As to Semenya, mm. I think uh, she, she's no, I'm not saying what she's, but I mm. think uh, male hormones mm. have totally changed her life she doesn't see herself as a female yeah, as she has a, a female anymore anyway. <laughs> yes yeah. that's what i wanted yeah. to say yeah. uh-huh. lakini kwake yeye kufika at this stage in her career and these people all of a sudden to be like oh kasta you need to lower your hormone levels etc where the hell were they from the very beginning yeah me my problem mm. with this i don't think this is right yes point blank okay you know why mm-hmm. cuz she was born like this she didn't eat anything she didn't Seriously. drink anything to be like this mm-hmm. you know one other person is called michael phelps mm-hmm. michael phelps is the world leading gold medalist wa olympics yeye ndo anaongoza ndo binadamu anaongoza kuwa na medali za dhahabu nyingi zaidi kuliko binadamu yoyote huyu ni muogeleaji wa marekani michael phelps inasemekana michael phelps ameumbwa na na kimimini nani ana chemicals fulani kwenye mwili wake ndo ameumbwa nazo ambazo zinamfanya asichoke kuliko binadamu mwingine Okay. And you know what the Americans say about that? Okay. He's lucky. Tuachane nawe. Tukizungumzia wow. kikapu, sawa? Okay. The guys that won uh, uh, nani Toronto Raptors yeah. wameshinda NBA. Yeah. Wameshinda mashindano ma ya NBA. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard mkono wake mm. ukiuangalia mm. ni mkono ambao sio kawaida ni anaweza kufunika kichwa changu chote. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he was born. Uh-huh. 
Binadamu wengine wanaoshiriki NBA hawako hivyo. Hata wow. wale warefu. Is it all? Ya yeah, he's all there. Of course, all the NBA players are of course most of them are at all. Yeah. Lakini huwezi kusema kwamba akatwe vidole ili awe sawa na wengine. This is why athletes are athletes. I agree. Umeelewa? So yaani kuna tofauti kati athletes yeah. na wengine. Yeah. So yeye kuwa gay or whatever anavyoanyamua yeye kama nchini kwao wanaruhusu wana mm. I don't think that's a problem. Lakini, I think the problem is mm. wazungu wamechukia zaidi hiyo kwa sababu yeye anawashinda <laughs> na mimi ninataka kusema kwa sababu but yet again if you come yeah. to realize kwamba nguvu alizokuwa nazo yeye ni tofauti na mwanamke wa kawaida ah ah mwanamke wa kawaida ni nguvu it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but it doesn't matter kwa sababu at the end of the day at the end of the day we'll never be equal that's what genetics and... my dear my dear that's what genetics fine. Really, we'll then we'll never if, equal if it we'll if, equal. if yeah. that is the case yeah. then what to add here to what um Uh, the federation wants her to do alafu yeah. tuone zikishapunguzwa let's see how you know what go. you know what they need to do to her i don't know they need to reduce her hormones even she could do a process ya to reduce hormones za binadamu zile mimi na shows than i agree with what that's why that's, 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 that's ending a career that's such a poor african sportsmen and women uh, then wana kuwa subjected into harsher rules Yes. Sababu kwa nini huyu huyu this uh, guy we're talking about the greatest huyu uh, Michael Phelps. Mbona yes, awasemi yeah. atuguze ili awe sawa na watu wengine? That's yeah. yani that's uh, umesikia Arija. That's why we say kuna watu wanakuwa athletes wanafanikiwa kwenye mambo fulani yes. because they're born different. Na Casta wamemhara. Mimi naweza kuwa napenda kikapo. Mm-hmm. So, okay, let me give you another example. Mm-hmm. There's a guy called Phil Hill. He he he's been uh, Mr Olympia wa kutunisha mesuli yeah. for seven consecutive years mm-hmm. mwaka jana ndo ameshindwa mm-hmm. Now Phil Heath mm-hmm. alianza kwa kucheza kikapu Denver mm-hmm. alikuwa anacheza kikapu na alikuwa mbaya kweli kwenye kikapu mm-hmm. very bad mm-hmm. lakini akagundua kwa urefu wake kwa mm-hmm. kimo chake mm-hmm. na kiwango chake mm-hmm. hata kaacheza NBA okay. so one day alipoenda gym he was like okay ngoja let me work out alipoanza ku work out watu wanaofahamu bodybuilding they were like i say kwa genetics ulizonazo yeah. wewe in bodybuilding you will be somebody else yeah. he won it seven times mm-hmm. the mr olympia ambayo mm-hmm. oh arnold mwenyewe watu wanaomjua alishinda mm-hmm. pia hizo zao seven times mm-hmm. so yeye yuko sawa na arnold okay. kwa maana yake angeendelea ku stick uh, genetics zake arnold 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 should think yeah kwa wow. kama kama yeye aliamua kwamba i mean mona this is the sport that i want mm. that's what's up kwa sababu mimi ingekuwa kwamba semenya labda alivyokuwa mdogo alipewa homoni fulani au aliongezewa kama mm. hata bodybuilders wa kiume wa kike yeah. wanaongezewa homoni na nini mm. that would have been bad lakini yule ndo alivyoumbwa ndo alivyo sasa like going, it's like going against nature kwa sababu uh, she, she could be lucky she yeah. could be lucky born like Char- that term, be... terming it as lucky uh-huh. as how they they term it she, yeah, she, she was just born that way exactly she was, they should she let was they born should that let... way but she's and it's, it's not only her on you kuna wengine ambao of course wa kuna wengine mm. ambao lakini hawashindi sana yeah. kama yeye of course yeah. lakini and you guys <laughs> remember <laughs> like because do, she's leading uh, do you remember yeah. even, that's the difference uh, when serena and uh, her sister started tennis yeah People used to say some funny things about yeah. them. They look at the muscles like, they're like girl do, how they, come you have they, they, yeah we don't care they are just, sports people it's just Sisi, african prejudices tukiangalia wanawake wanakimbia tunataka tuone anaikimbia kuliko wote done yes bas so mimi okay we can have uh, different perspectives <laughs> in this but i i don't think this is fair anyhow i hope cast what uh, remove hiyo yeah. hiyo issue that's a uh, swala la mwisho ambalo tunataka kulizungumzia ni swala ambalo linaweza kuwa na manufaa sana kwa watu wengine lakini pia hasara kwa watu wengine kwa sababu bajeti ya Tanzania uh, kwa mwaka wa fedha huu na unaokuja yeah. e, imeshatangazwa rasmi na mwishoni iliisha na baraka sisi wa hoteli zile ni baraka ambazo tunapewa mwishoni baada ya misa kuisha <laughs> tunapewa baraka kwa hiyo imekuja na baraka zote uh, habari hii Yeah. Wapo walevi ama wanywaji ambao wanalalamika kwa nini bei za bia na pombe zinaongezwa mm. wakati alcohol percentage haiongezwi lakini leo watu waongelee hao. Mm. Leo tunawaongelea tunaongelea nywele za bandia. Eh? Mawigi. Yeah. Eh? Maweaving. Okay. Eh? Kope za bandia. <laughs> Price za tax uh-huh. zimeongezwa. Hebu kwanza tuni tukasikilize insert afu tukirudi hapa nafikiri tupo na prospects wenye wahusika wakuu na mawadau wakuu wa hizi nywele watatueleza. Wao oh, nafikiri vipi? Tuanze tu after rule. Kutoza ushuru wa bidhaa wa asilimia kumi kwenye nywele za bandia zinazotengenezwa Ushuru wa 
bidhaa wa asilimia kumi Hiyo hapo hapo inabidi mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa bunge Mheshimiwa bunge hapo inabidi ongezeke hiyo kodi eh Mheshimiwa waziri unaungwa mkono hebu rudia tena hapo <laughs> Mheshimiwa spika napendekeza kutoza ushuru wa bidhaa wa asilimia kumi kwenye nywele za bandia zinazotengenezwa ndani ya nchi na na asilimia tano kwenye nywele bandia zinazoagizwa kutoka nje ya nchi lengo la hatua hii ni kuongeza mapato ya serikali tatu tatu ni kusamehe ushuru wa bidhaa tatu Waheshimiwa Waheshimiwa tusikilizane waheshimiwa Na kucha Hi <laughs> So okay 10% to 25 kuna kwanza hebu kutuulize kitu kimoja yeah. Ma nasi Yes. Haya mawigi na weaving sisi nywele za bandia mm. kutoka nje na kutoka ndani zipi ndio kindo nzuri yani hatari yani. Um, zamani ilikuwa ni kutoka nje lakini in the last couple of years nimeona kwamba Tanzania products ha, actually products ambazo zinatengenezwa hapa Dar es Salaam zimeweza ku, kuingia vizuri kwenye soko. Hii hapa Lovawe ni inatoka wapi? Uh, hii imetoka Tanzania. Oh. Mm. Yes and okay. So we have living example. Yes, we have living example. <laughs> so this is 10% now. Uh, this is 10%. It is 10%. It is 10%. <laughs> the next one, <laughs> the next one you buy. It, it is 10%, but I, oh. I just love my my weaves and my wigs kwa sababu you need muda kidogo sana to look glamorous. And what do you think about this race? The rates um the rates are okay for like home products. I'm glad that there's 10% for Tanzanian made wigs and weaves na 25 zile zinazokuwa imported. Mm. Kwa hiyo mimi nadhani women we are the largest market um, yani watu wengi ambao wanafanya manunuzi katika products hizi ni wanawake. Na any any products actually. Kwa hiyo mimi nadhani kwa soko la Tanzania tutasaidia kwa namna moja au nyingine kukuza nice. uchumi. Watu wana wanaofanya manunuzi au wanaoenda pale pale duka kufanya manunuzi ni tofauti na Wanao... na kwenda duka azi 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 okay usually kwenye 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 budget mimi nikiwa naangalia kwa jinsi ya tofauti ukiona um, kitu fulani kimeongezwa uh, tax mara nyingi kinakuwa kile kitu kina madhara kwa hiyo wanajaribu kuongeza tax ili kupunguza kasi mm. ya matumizi ya hivyo vitu. Mm. Uh, pombe, I mean sinister taxes hizi zimekuwa zikiongezwa every year. Yeah. To the point kwamba hawa watu hawasiki tena. True. Yani mm. mtu ameamua, mm. yani ameamua kwamba mimi mm. uwezi kanitoa na sigara. Whatever that's mm. come my way, I'll take it. Kwa hiyo hiki ni kitu kipya na tofauti kwa sababu impact yake imeonekana sawa ni biashara za watu lakini mwisho wa siku kuna impact ambayo walaji au watumiaji wanazipata mm. na kuna takwimu tofauti sana zikiwepo um, muimbili kwenyewe na kule Ocean Road mm. wakicomplain sana katika matumizi ya ya, ya, ya bidhaa hizi za mawigi pamoja mm. na kope mm. sababu kusema na nywele na, na mshua mpaka kope zinaingia sure. tumeona sure. sasa hivi hakuna dada ambaye ni slay queen kama hana kope mm. yani credit ya kwanza ya wewe kwa slay queen lazima uwe na kope kama kuku <laughs> Wale wa yani refu yani hivi kama kuku yani. <laughs> yani who is like queen who come like eh eh yetu analia hivi kwa sababu fanya mchezo atoka. Alafu mbele za watu itakwaje. Kwa hiyo it's like hivi vitu vina impact kubwa sana. Yeah. Weaves na wigs zimeingia lakini I'm sure sema ambayo ilikuwa kubwa ya kushika ni kwenye kope kwa sababu hata bungeni walishawe kuongelea kope na kucha. Mm. Sawa. Sasa kabla sijapigwa hapa na nikaanza kutoa maoni yangu mi naomba tu nizungumze na wanaume wenzangu wote ambao mlifikiri kwamba jambo hili ni jema sana na wengine mnapiga kaya hata mwingine kuna wanaongea sema waongeze tu waweke taa nyingi 
tunaumia ni sisi jamani wala msiwaze kwamba eti utaumia kama nasi anaposema wanunuzi ni wao lakini hmm. nafikiri wanaoenda dukani ndio wao ila wanunuzi ni sisi ah, sema sema kazi lakini najua walishangilia sana ilivyotangazwa lakini wigs kwa wagonjwa mtu kama ana cancer ana loss hair loss problem yani wigs give you confidence Ha. Now for any woman to feel confident you need to look pretty. Kwa hiyo mimi nadhani yes wa balanceisha this thing like we guys who choose to wear wigs sio kwamba eti oh we have nothing better to do we just want to look nice. Hey before Nancy gets all emotional <laughs> with that, before the main emotional thing that we want to talk about let's go and grab a very short break tuende tukapate short break tukirudi tunaongelea vitu ambavyo hata Nancy akiamua kuwa emotional vitakuwa havina shida. Okay. The idea of beauty. Let's take a short break usiondoke kwenye television yako na tunarejea na tutakuruhusu na wewe upige simu. Away first time, good start from, from my balls. Ball breathing a moment of going away. Kane trying to go with him, but he's going to be trapped through the second place. But he's going to win it by two minutes. Away first time, good start from, from my balls. Ball breathing a moment of going away. Kane trying to go with him, but he's going to be trapped through the second place. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa kuwa pamoja nasi mpaka sasa kama ndio kwanza unafungulia television yako uh, ni CapChat kwenye Capital TV naitwa Sebastian Koloa niko naye na Nancy Mesengo pamoja na Hadija Zimbwe kama ndio kwanza umefungulia television tulikushaanza lakini patamu ndio hapa sasa kwa umefungulia television yako wakati mwafaka kabisa tunazungumzia the idea of beauty na tutakuomba wewe upige simu ili tuambie what is your idea of beauty unapozungumzia urembo ama uzuri wa kitu ama mtu sana sana tutazungumzia hao watu uh, unafikiri ni nini kwako kiambiwa the idea of beauty wewe unafikiri mzuri ni yupi eh, basi tutapiga kupitia 0677 777333000 nakumbusha tu ukipiga simu hakikisha unapunguza sauti ya televisheni yako au unaizima kabisa go straight to the point tuambie unatoka wapi na nini na nini tuambie wewe what is your idea of beauty um, being a man in this house i think i have the right <laughs> actually i had this conversation with one of my bosses just recently Kusu, the idea of beauty what is the idea of beauty okay. uh, from my point of view i think the society plays a great role yeah. in the idea of beauty okay. so you say african beauty so sure. you have european beauty so yeah. huyu msichana ni mzuri mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya society aliyopo mm-hmm. kwa ndani ya society pia kuna vijiji society vidogo vidogo mfano yeah. shule mimi nimesoma shule nyingi kwao naweza kutoa mfano kwa hiyo nikaenda shule mpya na mwana dada na mwana udala mzuri kweli. Kirudi bwenini kaambia jamaa sana dada mmoja mzuri kweli kweli anaambia ha yaona wewe. Umeelewa eh? Kwa sababu wanamchukulia kutokana na maisha yake wanavomfahamu, yeah. taarifa zake za nyuma, yeah. tabia zake mm. na vitu kama hivyo. Kuna huyu mdada ambaye mimi nilimuona mzuri shule moja wapo kuna mtu alitaniwa tu kwamba hayu si demo yake fulani. Jamaa alikasirika. Unasemaje? Anyway, right away we have Rashid Ali from Tanga. Rashid Tuambie unafikiri nini kuhusu idea ya beauty? Mimi nafikiria kuhusu idea ya beauty 
Mm-hmm. Karibu. Hiki tumegandika katika sehemu mbili. Aha. Yaani hiki tumegandika katika mbili kivipi? Eh. Una ile duty ya muonekano wa mtu yaani ki kiumbo au kitura. Eh. Unaona eh? Alafu vile vile tumemuulizia swala la duty. Watia. Ndio ndio tunakusikia Rashid tukizungumzia swala hili si vile vile kuna swala linaloitwa nafsi ya mtu kwamba iko uzuri vipi Aha Ehe umetia Ndio ndio Kwa hiyo anaweza kama mtu ni beauty kutokana na yale matendo anayofanyia mtu mm-hmm. au watu Mhm Hello Ndio tunakusikia Rashid endelea Mhm Umeona matendo mm-hmm. anayofanyia mtu au watu ndio anaweza kaitwa kama huyu jamaa ni beauty Hai. au muonekano wake hivi. Eh. Hai, asante sana. Rashid kwa kifupi kabisa amezungumza uh, physique yes. na nafsi. Hadija, yeah. your idea of beauty. For me my idea of beauty is it, 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 it's about how confident you are about yourself. Mm-hmm kwa sababu kwa sababu beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Sio be a holder. Oh the beholder. <laughs> Cuz if you drink so enough. Personally. Everybody is beautiful. <laughs> personally, uh nikisema nitegemee Nancy kuniambia mimi mzuri au Seba kuniambia mimi mzuri nitasubiri sana. Mm. So, I have to, <laughs> so I have to be confident with myself with yeah. what i have alafu una package vizuri yes it doesn't matter the color it doesn't matter the hair uh-huh. it doesn't matter the look it doesn't matter my shape uh-huh. it doesn't matter my dress code it doesn't matter my behavior mm-hmm. with me all that iko mm-hmm. pembeni it starts with myself nasi mm-hmm. i will second what hadija said to me my idea of beauty is what's inside because I've grown up with people who are born beautiful you know mzali wazuri sana lakini if you're not pure inside it reflects now when i say my what your eyes is the best sort of mirror to what's inside you kwa hiyo mimi i've always been like this i've been raised like this um, what's in me reflects I think if you you you're okay inside you just radiate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kwa hiyo that's that's my idea of beauty. Ni kama yes. kaka alivyosema yeah. kwamba the idea of beauty kwake mm. is the whole package. It's the whole package. True. Jamani 0677333000. Piga simu hii utueleze wewe unakofikiria kuhusu beauty. 0677333000. Seba, Hadija na Nancy chuko hapa. What about popular culture? How how much do you think popular culture affects the idea of beauty? Big time. Nancy. Yeah, any big time. You want to say something I was saying a lot. Yeah. Cuz <laughs> yeah. uh, um I remember before Kim Kardashian <laughs> became famous women with like big behinds were like seen to be fat. Fat. <laughs> yeah. My point exactly. Fat. Mm. Yeah. Kim Kardashian was akafanywa plastic surgery na mimi akapiga picha ametoka kwenye pool like all that and now people are actually injecting themselves to get big behinds yeah pata makalio makubwa kwa hiyo society bwana ina big big role big big role popular culture yes popular culture so when we say beautiful mm. like people will think about kimuona msichana yuko hivi uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, kuna mindset ambazo tayari zina zimeshatengenezwa yes, kutokana yes. na mazingira. Uh-huh. Mazingira sasa hivi wanakuambia mm-hmm. demo mkali mm-hmm. lazima awe na makalio makubwa, uh-huh. awe mweupe, mm-hmm. slay queen, mm-hmm. nywele mpaka hapa, kope mpaka kule, <laughs> lipstick ya kuchinja kuku. You see so tuna, tuna tayari tuna mmoja wanaume kwamba <laughs> sisi vijana nasema mtu akiwa anakutambulisha girlfriend wake mpya. Yes. Mimi uh, nimpata girlfriend mpya bwana washikaji uh-huh. anamuuliza uh-huh. mzuri mkali mzuri eh. Uh-huh. Uh, akisema hivi, akisema ah mimi namuona mzuri ya unjua huyo sio mzuri. Uh-huh. Lakini akisema I say ni mkali. Nikumaanisha <laughs> kwamba ku, ikimaanisha kwamba kuna kuna maana ya uzuri mm-hmm. ipo uzuri kabisa mm-hmm. yeah. lakini ipo ile ambayo mimi namuona mzuri i don't I'm not sure mm-hmm. lakini kweli inawezekana kwamba mtu mmoja 
ama msichana mmoja akanoonekana mzuri na kila mtu exactly that's Inaweza why I was because saying. it's the so it is possible it, it is, is possible kwa sababu that's the kind of mindsets ambazo iko tuna kwa expected to mm. to to perceive as beauty mm. but it's like not right any, it's not right it's not Seba. Right. now the thing about beauty it's sort of sort of like has a shelf life it circulates mm -hmm. na kumbuka pia back in the day having a big chest what are you looking for a surgery lakini kaenda 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 like 5 years later say hivi watu wana those who used to have like really really big chest wanaenda wana punguza vile before mm. now it's like big behind trends yes mm. next thing will be to be petite mm. that was seen as sexy yeah back yeah. in the days yeah kwa hiyo yani ndio maana wanaambia watu wewe kama ulienda ukafanywa injection to increase your behind girl hey Okay, what's the difference between beauty and uh, attractiveness? Like being attractive and being beautiful. Attractive. Is there a difference? Yes, attractiveness. Mm. Sorry, Deja. Mm. No, just I'm jumping in. <laughs> attractiveness, beauty, it's more wholesome. And attractiveness, it's more sexual. Okay. It's what you see with your eyes and you want that. Like in beauty, there's more to beauty than attraction. You have to study it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's in a kuja kidogo kidogo. Mm. It could be a confusion kwa sababu yeah. sasa hivi beauty na attractions vyote ni vya kutengeneza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ni ni mara chache sana utakutana na natural beauty sure. na natural attraction. attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Kwa hiyo kuna confusion hapo. Yes. Haijulikani precisely yani mtu ana ana anapenda mm -hmm. yani uzuri wa aina gani. Yes. Yeah, mimi that's where I go I go like uh, that that's where I oppose uh, the the um, the statement that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder because I, I, I think that's attraction True. i think yeah. attraction lies in the eyes i think mm -hmm. beauty you have to study it no man will listen because because ndio kama hivyo you go to a new society kwa naambia ta marafiki zangu unaenda kwa msichana wako unasikia anodi naenda kwa msichana wako mpya yule wakati unaenda kwa msichana wako yule mpya yule ukifika na gari yako usiweke mziki mkubwa sana ukapiga na maraundi mengi ukapita na waoshikaji wa pale ukawapita ukatimulia vumbi wao wanamfahamu yule dada kuliko wewe so what, what i'm saying is saa zingine beauty is a complete package you have to know the person you know you have to know how the society apo kwao wanamchukulia na vitu kama hivi vyote ndio vinatengeneza beauty plus the soul plus the mind plus everything sasa ndio vinatengeneza beauty lakini ukisema umemuona tu Hadija kwenye TV kama mbona kuna siku mtu alipiga simu akasema mimi nafurahia tu kipindi nikiwaona tu adada kama hapo mimi mimi nafurahia tu Maybe that's attraction. You're attracted to those people. Yes, because you see, they look you good. But when you say they don't understand the difference between attraction yeah. and beauty. Yeah. Yeah. People fall for attraction True. and then they just... call it like Nancy's beautiful. Yeah. 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 You've then... just been attracted with Nancy the way she is right now. And then you live with Goja. Hapo mmekutana naye tu sasa hivi Nancy ame pop up na nini na nini. Kuna siku zake Nancy yuko nyumbani tu. Ehe, nyumbani na kwa rafu. Au 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 yani ana yuko kwenye mianga yako yake of daily chores ambazo ni za weekend. You'll not see this package. Yeah. So hapo unaanza kuchanganyika ndio yule yule. And now it's when you see the beauty in someone sasa. Kwamba ameamka zake asubuhi hana makeup ana nini. Nataka kusema sema watu wengi they go out on dates. You have like one inch foundation. Kope. Nini? Mimi nasema makeup should be. By the time that guy, <laughs> by the time that guy sees you next morning, yeah, yeah. you are a complete mess. A different guys person. Run away. Yeah. Mm. Kwa sababu with new makeup now, hata wewe mm. una wrinkles. Yes. Nothing Nobody can seen. tell Seba. Mtu anaweza unaonaga kwenye zile YouTube yeah. videos. Yeah. Sisi macho yanakuwa madogo. Unakuta macho yanakuwa madogo. Au yanakuwa makubwa. You don't understand. Una contours. Different person nimekuwa na. Sura nyeo sura nyembamba kesho tutaona sura pana. <laughs> anyway, so we so we agree on this. Like we can we can leave our our yeah. uh, nani na hii kwamba True. beauty is your attraction. So the, mm. the idea of yeah. beauty you are the complete the package. package. Kuna mwingine anafikiri yeah. kwamba na si, na ile tofautiana sio kila mtu ni sawa. Kuna mwingine anasema kwa mfano kuna hizi banners si watu wa gym inaandikwa strong is beautiful. Mwingine anaamini right. kwa mwanamke akiwa anaweza yuko fit na nini yeah. Yeah. and then mind yake iko sharp yes. that's already beauty. Mm -hmm. Kuna mwingine anaamini hapana awe mama tu mm -hmm. lakini awe mama mzuri kwa watoto wake yes. not so it has to be a complete package guys. Usianze kutafuta yes. attractions. Na nimeongea na vijana wangu hapa tayari 
Michelle Paso Mokido. <laughs> and now we are heading to uh, the hashtag plus two five five. Today, Nongelea mm. Tories. Now, tourism. Tunongele tourism Tanzania. This past week, I was not here. Uh, tulikuwa kwenye Kili Fair, which mm -hmm. was the, uh, like, I can say the biggest East African uh, tourism exhibition yeah. alifanyika Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Between Kili Fair na Karibu, wali unganisha ikawa Karibu Kili Fair. Awesome. It was the biggest one. Mm -hmm. It was fun mm -hmm. and everything. But it got me thinking. Mm -hmm. How much do we value our own uh, attractions? Tourists' attractions, not yeah. beautiful attractions, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not yeah. women attractions. No, <laughs> I mean our attractions. Yes. Adija, ukiambiwa kusu tourism Tanzania. Do you think tunaifanya hi tourism here to uh, we do it justice? Hapa na unajua kuna vitu ambavyo tulikuwa tunaona hivi ni vya wazungu na vitu vingine tulikuwa tunaenda shule kwenye tour tukimaliza tour zile za shule we are dead and gone yani hiyo issue nilishaenda ga yani nilishaenda mikumi nilishaenda serengeti nilishaenda wapi unajua kwamba wakati niko shule nilienda in that history una ile kwamba nilienda kama seba ulitwambia misha hapa na mlima Kilimanjaro siku nile expect utapanda tena this year but anyway we go back to it Okay. Sawa. Kwa hiyo hatuna hatuna mwamko kwa sababu mazingira yetu, culture yetu walio tuzunguka na kutulea we never saw that thing growing kwa upande wangu kwa sababu tunatofautiana kila familia. Kwa upande wangu hiyo ilibaki shule wakati wa tours ilibaki shule. Na uzuri sasa hivi mimi sikuwahi kufikiria kwamba kwa siku naweza nikatamani kwenda kwenye mbuga za wanyama au nikatamani kwenda kuangalia forest reserves sijawahi kufikiria hicho kama hicho what changed for you tanapa has mm. done a great job mm -hmm. for the past one year and a half i could say that mm -hmm. kuna vipindi vya tanapa vilikuwa vinaruka itv sijui kama bado vinaendelea kuruka mm -hmm. you see those tourist attractions mm -hmm. kuna vivutio vingi na si kwenda mbugani mm. peke yake au kwenda zanzibar umemaliza yeah. my dear there is a lot. Mm -hmm. Hata ukisema kuanzia leo mimi kila mwaka I'll be saving kwa ajili ya kwenda kutembelea kivutio fulani. Haviishi. Mm -hmm. Ni vingi sana. Mm -hmm. Sasa Nancy? Well, um mimi nadhani kwamba uh, kuna mambo mawili. La kwanza ni kwamba Tanzania kama Tanzania ni kwamba hatuweza kukusivi kwa tuweza kuona actually the fruits of tourism. Na mimi nadhani ni ngumu sana ukaanza kushangilia kitu ambacho haki impact maisha lakini toka uongozi huu ulivyoingia madarakani mimi nadhani ile a sense of valuing our own imerudishwa sana kwa wananchi na tunaona kabisa kwamba we are informed kwamba jamani tourists kiasi fulani wanakuja pesa fulani imeletwa tunajenga hiki hiki so there is actually a connection between tourism and social and economic development ambapo huko nyuma ilikuwa haipo la pili wa Tanzania wengi sisi hatupendi outdoor activities. Na kama upendi outdoor activities, there's no way in hell utaenda mbugani. Uende mbugani kufanya nini? Kwanza ile tu majani majani, wanyama, kero, unajua? Because we are not exposed to that, which is totally different to Kenyans. Kenyans wana a lot of parks and from a very young age unakuta watoto wanakuwa exposed to going to these places. Kwa hiyo culturally Tourism si kitu ambacho tumezoea kukifanya so I think we need to start with our own children waanze kukua wakienda kwenye mbuga za wanyama na wao watawapeleka wajuku zetu baadaye Yeah okay from my point of view I think mm. okay there's a there's a statement that says when you have something for so long yeah. uh, there's a tendency of taking it for granted Okay Ni kama you guys here kwa sababu mko na mimi kila siku you take me for granted lakini mimi big deal <laughs> about you Anyway what I'm saying is ni kwamba yeah. uh, that was just hapo kwenye mlima Kilimanjaro yes. watu wanaoishi pale mm. na sisi wa Tanzania mm. ukiwa hata saa nyingine unasafiri tu unaona au pale unaelewa au pale so you take it for granted yes. so you think about the things that you have never had that's true Mona, that's a big car bao jaiona mm. mm. eh 
mm. America mm. ambako hujai kwenda mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yani you think of things ambazo hujawahi kuziona kabisa yeah. Yeah. that is that is your idea of mm. something ambao unaweza ukatumia pesa yako uka mm. save for mm. lakini vile vile na wenzetu wameshaona hivyo vitu ambavyo sisi tuna vitamani hawajaona hivi ambavyo ni natural kumbuka vile vya kwa ambavyo wana vitamani yoyote anaweza kuvitengeneza sure. but hivi natural Hakuna binadamu anaweza kuvitengeneza. Huwezi mm. kutenza mm. Rift Valley leo. Yeah, Manelewa, huwezi yeah. kutengeneza zebra leo. Yeah. Manelewa, mm. hawezi kuwa kama yule ambaye utamwona Simba na kula swala na yeah. yani hivyo vitu yeah. huwezi kuviona kule kwao. Mm. So that is why they don't take it for granted. Sasa ukaanuliza unaweza kuanuliza kwamba mbona Kenya wenzetu they have been taught kuanzia wadogo kwamba this is valuable more than you can imagine. Kwa sababu kesho kesho mtu anaweza kukaa sehemu ambayo huwezi kuona tena hii. Kwa ni mimi nafikiri ni ile kwamba kwa sababu unazaliwa unakiona hicho kitu. Mm. Mimi nakumbuka kuna mzungu mmoja alikuja Tanzania kuja kufanya kazi hapa yeah. hicho kikuu. Yeah. Uh, wakati nyumbani tulikuwa tuna tumepanda karanga. Akaangalia akasema hii ni nini? Tukwambie ni karanga. Akasema what? Uh. Akaenda kufuata kamera yake na nini? Yeah. Hajawahi kujua kwamba karanga zinaenda chini. Yeye yeah, anajua karanga zinaota kama mapapai yes. hizi kama, kama zabibu. Mimi ndio ukwaju pia. Eh au kama ukwaju. Yeye anajua kama karanga unaenda unazichuma hivi. Nilimwambia vile eh. alishangaa akaenda kuchukua kamera ani alichanganyikiwa siku nzima hadi mm. baadaye jioni mmekaa mnakunywa kinywa jasa. Ah I see. Unajua you know, I still don't believe kwamba unajua so that's not eh. normal kwa. Eh. Mm. Iko ni kitu kikubwa na ni cha ajabu. Mm. So nafikiri kama tena hapa kama ulivyosema mm. kazi ambayo unaweza kuifanya yeah. Uh, ni hiyo kuongezea watu kuonesha mm, mm. the value of what we have mm. the value i think that's that's a, Nasebo, that's a that's pia labda we are not curious enough maybe no we don't know the value mm. so we're not curious mm. we don't know the value mm. like for instance kenyans they know yeah. the value kwa yeah. wenyewe whenever they say we have this they really say we yeah. have this sisi we don't know the value mimi hata kwenye michezo tunagombana watu kila siku yeah. we don't know the value of what we have mm. kwa mfano mbona samata Like Mimi I play my part. For instance in my story ya kusema kwamba Mbwana Samata uh, uh, yeye yeah, na gang wameshinda. I said Mbwana Samata won gang their championship. Mm. He helped them winning. Umeelewa? <laughs> yeah. Lakini most other people are like walishinda wote tu uh, Tanzania anajua nini? Unajua? Yaani we, we just take it for, we don't if Mbwana Samata was Kenyan. Mm. Ah, he would have been a king. Lakini si kwetu hapa we from Chukasi bwana tu huyo. Alafu kuna kitu ambacho niliona uh, ambacho Rwanda walifanya waliingia into partnerships. You said mliona watu wa sports. Yeah. Yes, the Arsenal jerseys. Well we we started that. You Rwanda did? yeah Rwanda did took that from us. Yeah. We did that Tanzania kwenye ili, ili ili, ile. Yeah, kwenye viwanja. Tena kwenye viwanja visit Tanzania. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's that's Yeah. Yes. I, I, I missed yeah. that, man. Yeah. So that's, that's nice. so that's what Hadija is saying yeah. kwamba hapa karibuni imeanza nice. na juzi bahati nzuri kwa tukio yeah, kile fair. Uh, uh, the minister responsible for tor- tourism and human resources yeah. uh, and, uh, and natural, natural resources sorry. Resources. Uh, natural resources a uh, kigwangala alipokea mm. rasmi mm. ile tuzo ya Serengeti kuwa uh, nani uh, kuwa mbuga bora zaidi game reserve national park bora zaidi in, the uh, world. in, in Africa. Kwa wow. the, the aim sasa ni kwenda in the world. Lakini alipokea na I was I was like astonished at how mm. valuable they they took that. Unajua? And I was like this is what's supposed to happen. Mm. But how many people mpaka sasa hivi wanajua kwamba Serengeti juzi tu ilikuwa imetangazwa? Not so many people. So, so, right yeah, mm. yeah. Hebu niende nikaone hiki kitu gani kwa kwa Afrika nzima hakuna mbuga kama Serengeti. Why? Unajua kinachokosekana ni kwamba hivi vitu vinafanyika afu prices are local za. Ni ndogo. Kuna kuna wanaokuja huko wanakuwa charged yani hela nyingi lakini sisi price set. Ni ndogo mpaka unaweza ukaumia. Lakini sisi hatutaki fanya. Lakini well, unajua hicho unachosema Seba, mimi nadhani mambo mengi yanayofanyika akui na ile proper task force. Like wewe uko very very passionate kuhusiana na hili jambo, yani unaongea hadi unasisimka yani yeah. part of yani uki, ukianga, ukiangalia force. ukiangalia vile vipindi the way vimeandaliwa, vime mm. mm. mimi sikuwahi kujua kwamba Tanzania kuna fishing 
tourism yeah. sikuwai jua yeah. yeah. sikuwai kujua kama kuna tourism ya kutembea walking yeah. safaris yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's scary but the way they put it it's exciting yeah. unajua speaking of uh, sehemu kama um, kitulo reserves yeah. Yeah. you're like oh, ruaha kitulo you're like mm. oh my god mm. kumbe mm. is this big yeah. Yeah. kujua kama kuna tourist mm. attraction ya maua tu ipo exactly. that's my point oh, kila mtu unaweza kusema outdoors mm. mimi namfahamu ndugu yangu mmoja ambaye ni producer yetu mkubwa tu hapa ni Swadam Deli. Anakuambia mlima mimi sipandi. Lakini kwamba Serengeti nitakwenda. <laughs> nitakwenda. Ya yeah. sio lazima ulazimishiwe sehemu. Yeah, kuna yeah. kitu ambacho kinapenda wanyama. Yeah. Kinapenda maua. Kinapenda yeah. samaki. I remember when I was young. I remember when I was young uh, on holiday uh, my mom was working by then but with the government so mm. akatupeleka ga huko mbugani. I used to be so scared of animals. Na kabla tujaondoka nilikuwa naomba mama Me, I'm just going there to stay in this nice hotel, <laughs> have my breakfast, sleep in a nice bed. Uh, If you want to go see your lions, go ahead and see your lions. Anyway, <laughs> hi. Nimani yeah. tumeongea mambo mengi, lakini ninachofurahi kuhusu tana hapa ni kwamba wameamua kwamba sisi kwanza wa Tanzania wenyewe yeah. we should understand about our tourist attractions so that we can get better, you know, so that we can sisi wenyewe tuanze kuonesha umuhimu wa vile tulivyona. Hata tukienda nje, tutawaita na wengine. Sasa kabla hatujamaliza kipindi chetu cha siku ya leo na tucheke kidogo na baadhi ya memes. Kuna nyingine unaweza kuwa umezipitia. Hey, amepotea na sioni hata akiupdate status. Nani amesikia harusi yoyote imefanyika leo? Sije kuwa babe. Sije kuwa babe ameshaolewa. Actually this happens. Shaona siuzi mtu anashangaa. Huh? Huyu si ah mbona ameolewa? <laughs> This this That's this happens. Mbona Nancy unatikisha sana kichwa? Hujamwona bei muda mrefu? No, it's it's evil. It's evil. It's bullshit. Bei ndo mabei wa squeeze ndo alivyo. You never know. Can you imagine not seeing your boyfriend or girlfriend ame ame disappear? Eh? Huh. Missing in action. Alafu unakuta ame alitoa ametoa status kile kitu unakuja kuona the next thing pictures are rusi you know how Ooh. devastating that can be <laughs> like give you a status any yani that shows kwamba watu wana they really care about the status kwamba anajua kabisa kama kukiwa hamna tatizo mm. let me check the status yeah. let's check the next one yeah. ambayo inaweza kuwa ilikuwa status ya mtu huna uo hakuna uh, huna uongo unaoniuma mpaka leo kama maliza shule kwanza Ut- <laughs> <laughs> Utawala unavyotaka. People say that. People are This is the best one. Yeah. Maliza shule yeah. leo? Yeah. Utalala vyo vyote unavyotaka. And that this is something actually a lot of students were wanaambiwa sana. Na tukimaliza ile ile LOI cha kwanza unaanza yani ni kulala. Yeah. Na wala unafikiri unalala sasa. Yaani yeah. unajua kwamba yani ile siku mimi nikifika nita ndo siku ambayo kesho yake unaamka wa kwanza nifanye. Ndio. Mm. Halafu sio tu hicho. Kwanza huko nyumbani kwenye hata kama usipopata kazi ya kukufanya usilale ma, usi, uamke mapema. Yeah. Hapo hapo tu nyumbani ili usitoe ngombe inabidi uone kazi. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I think we have a next one. Wash your pillow cases and stop asking people what they use for their skin. Actually this is very important especially for ladies. Sensitive. Ladies, hi. It's sensitive. <laughs> Sio unakaa tu unaanza kula eh Nancy unapaka nini? <laughs> pillow case. <laughs> Tena naibu watu wengi si wanaiona. Single, ready to mingle. Kumbe pillow case mzee. Imekaa tu toka last year haijaguswa. Hapo zinatafutwa za brown. Hata huko ikiwa nyeupe chini huko juu ina brown. They are the ones men who bachelors who no. use brown bedding. Mimi napenda white kwa kweli. White, white is my Ooh, color. Let's check the last swim. Sasa Maureen, poa. Sasa, mimi nani? Names aren't important. So unatakaje? Ehe. Uh-huh. Hizo heels uliacha kwa chali yangu unazikamia ama nivae juu hatuachani. <laughs> yaani huyo ni mdada anamtext dada mwenzake. Okay. Anamwambia hizi hizi high heels ulizoacha kwa bwana wangu. Sio sababu ya kutuvuta. Na mimi zinantosha. Unazifuata? Then lady is bold. That's so bold. That is dog. Yaani kama wewe, kama unazifuata usifuate. Yaani yeah. nitakupa na utaondoka. <laughs> na usitegemee kwamba baada ya no kitendo cha yeye kuziacha ni kwamba sisi hapa. Kama mimi ni mwanaume nikaona hiyo text. Huyo uh-huh. sio mwanamke wa kukaa naye atakuua kwa sisi. <laughs> <laughs> she's I, guy, she's 
she's stronger she's than you think. <laughs> she's stronger than you think, <laughs> man. Well, it has, it, has been, it has been a blast. It has, an, it has been a blast yeah, to, to yeah. enjoy sun. How's you? Yes. And I mean, if you are a man, you enjoy sun. Sun, I remember, will pick a sim like in the batting by me, me tambo, me tanda, I'm tanda, I'm going to sumbua. Kinipia, thank you for or oh, about me pick a sim. We're not supposed to go to Zapata. No, thank you, sun. Thank you, remember, to me a message. We're not going to go to Zapata. We're 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 going to go to Zapata. Thank you very very much. Mimi naitwa Sebastian Koloa, nilikuwa naye Hadija Zimbwe pamoja na Nancy Masengo. Kwa niamba ya wote ambao walijumuika kutengeneza kipindi hiki, nawaambia keep on watching Capital TV maana it's the best channel in town.